Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. New project on the way. I'm about to win an eBay auction right now. It's looking really close. I had to wake up very early for this. It is 8.47 in the morning. And I've been watching this eBay auction over the last week now. I put in a bid. It's gone up by a bit. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to win this. New project, because you know, my bike at the moment is dead. So this will be a new exciting event for all of us, I guess. And I get to bring you guys along with me. So hope for the best in it. And that's one of those. Chop a bike. As you can see, there's six minutes remaining. So, uh, yeah, hopefully for the best. I'm afraid, yes, I literally just woke up a few seconds ago. So hopefully this goes well. All right, good. Right now, it's at 31, five minutes remaining. Okay, four minutes remaining, and there are 19 bids. I'm putting in 65, which is more than double that. So basically, these things go for quite a lot. They go for around the hundreds. So what I'll be doing here is getting a fucking good bargain anyway for it. It's not that rusty. It's in pretty good condition. So I'd say 65 is a fair one. I'm gonna wait for it to get down to a few more seconds. A few seconds. And then uh, I'm a bid. A few moments later. Well, it's sold, and I lost the auction. Sold for 62 quid. I put 75, right? But I think I was too late on the clicker. I was just too ambitious. I was too late on the clicker. But I found more. I found more bikes. That's not the end, don't worry. There's more. Hey, guys. I just realized I didn't record the other part of the video. In the end, I ended up going on to Gumtree after losing the eBay auction, as you just saw, and I found an even better bike for even cheaper happy days uh, we loaded it into Mitch's old car the Chevrolet Kalos it was a squeeze but in the end we got there and as you're about to see the weather was appalling <laughs> Today you join us on a snowy day, planning on removing most of the rust off the bike. As you can see I got the seat off already, just to try and um, see the depth of the rust. I mean this is, by the looks of it right now, it's just surface rust and that could just be removed with a bit of sandpaper. You see there's still kind of shiny metal there. Over here I started already, this was all rusty, this, was, this looked exactly like the back um, mudguard. And with a bit of, with a bit of, you know, tea car and a bit of sandpaper came Okay, all right. So we got the the rear guard off the back. As you can see, it just shows the full width of that back wheel. That is absolutely massive. Um, this, on the other hand, is not so great. Quite rusty. That's what it's meant to look like right there. We'll do a lot of sanding and a lot of polish. And hopefully we'll get it back to its former glory. And there it goes, just to show you, just to show off, Mitch. <laughs> And there we go. A lot better than it was before, I think. But obviously there's a bit of scarring from the some rust. I got a bit too deep for it, but it's all solid metal. Right, it is all solid metal. Even the inside I did as well. But apart from that, you know, it's looking pretty nice. Guys, today we're back in the garage. Uh, this is, well, yesterday I sanded down the rust on the rear bit. And now in light, it looks pretty damn nice. As you can see, the bikes are now all in order. They're just leaning against the wall, we're gonna get prop stands for them, but I've cleaned up the garage a bit. So it looks a bit more tidy. I think it looks pretty good. But yeah, um, things we need to do today. So I bought this for the chopper. It is a uh, engine mount. Because as you can see on these bikes right here, they have like a kind of triangle configuration, but the chopper 
doesn't really have that. There's that long piece down at the bottom, a very long piece down at the bottom, and um, it, it, it can't hold an engine like that. So we use one of these to mount it there. So it kind of has a you know a proper mount for the engine. Then over here, what I've done is I've had some burst in a tube, cut a piece off and slapped it right on there. I just need to trim it off a bit because it's a bit too long. But that's just to protect the paint a bit because you know, the paint's in quite good nick. It's just a bit dirty right now, but it's in quite good nick. So I'm going to put this on there to protect it. And we'll see how that looks in a bit. Yep. Well, that's it temporarily fitted. Still have to tighten down the bolt. But I guess you can kind of see how it's going to fit. And the these two pillars up to one side so obviously you know if you want to know which di you know what direction it is it's to this side where there's you know there's no drive sprocket of the pedals but it looks pretty good i just have to tighten it down a bit the rubber is doing his job is protecting i even put a bit at the bottom as well so hopefully the paint doesn't get scratched looking good so far that's on we'll tighten that now and uh, I, have to get, I have to get serious for a moment. <laughs> As the birth of a new bike begins, the death of another must happen. This is Gerald. Unfortunately, we couldn't record much with Gerald because, well, we haven't been you know, locked down or whatever. So I'm going to use the motor of Gerald. And I have a future future plan for Gerald, as I mentioned before, I have future projects. So it's not the end of him, it's just bye for now. So without further ado, we've got to take the engine off. One eternity later. Hey guys, after a lot of fiddling, engine is finally off. Gerald. And now he's looking more like a normal bicycle. On the other hand, a new bike. It's looking pretty good. I think you saw before we mounted the speedo, just retrofitted the um, throttle with the cable running down into the engine right there. It's a retrofit, but it fits pretty good. It fits pretty good. And it does look quite nice. A lot nicer than I thought it would. So now what we're gonna do is, well, I removed the back wheel off the jump take the sprocket off. I'm going with the same sprocket anyway because I think a small sprocket on that wheel will turn it and we'll just lose power. Uh, so I think it's a good move here for that wheel. Same hub, same adapter, same everything. And I'm just going to take the back wheel off of this which is going to be a task from the moment itself. Disconnect the back brakes and uh, yeah, let's take it off. And that pretty much sums it up. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't get to um, record more in detail, mainly because I got a bit carried away in the working process, whatever, and also that I forgot to document it. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please check out the other video I have up on Stan, highlighting all his quirks and features. Uh, what else is there? Please like, subscribe, visit our website, visit our Instagram, and stay tuned for more content from the Sneaky Pikers Garage. Thank you, goodbye.